Well, let's talk about some of the people from well-known bands that you've had interactions with. Like, were there many of those? Yeah, like over the years, especially when I was younger, I would always wait. I would always stay like after the show. Um, and a lot of the clubs we went to back then were smaller. So even if they didn't want to meet you after the show, like the the exit gate was literally like 15 feet from the stage exit. So like they didn't have a choice. So I met a good amount of bands like in the early 2000s, like the coolest being like Andrew WK was like one of the coolest people I ever met. Like he played a show, finished up at midnight. It was pouring rain. He sat outside and signed stuff for every single person that was leaving in the rain, no umbrella, nothing. He just waited. So I was like 30, 45 minutes of waiting and he was there in the rain signing the whole time, big smile, taking pictures. Um, definitely a really cool guy. Um, kind of, I, I, we've told the story before, but like the gunner mouth one was like really the only time I was like, oh, fuck this guy, honestly. So Let, let's most go, of the time people are cool. Let's go right in depth with that because I, I really wanted to know the <laughs> ins and outs of that story. All right. So this was um, Rockfest 2014 in Montreal, which was pretty much like Warp Tour on steroids. Honestly, there's so many amazing bands. Uh, got to see uh, Big Wig for the first time in like 10 years there. I think Propagandy, Blink, Misfits, it was wild. Um, and we were, like, taking a breather. Again, hot, middle of summer. Uh, it was a two-day festival. So I think this was day two. And if I don't get my sleep, I'll be honest, dude, I get very cranky. And uh, we were in, like, a, a part, we were renting, like, an apartment for two days, uh, maybe an hour from the festival. Um, and I was just beat. I was done. Um, Lewis wanted to walk somewhere like pretty far, I think to get cigarettes. So I'm exhausted. I'm walking and, um, they were filming the daily woo, the YouTube channel over there. And Mark from Guttermouth was on there and he like walk up to me and it started like very negative and they cut out a lot of the stuff on the daily woo. And he was making fun of me for wearing a, a no effects shirt. Um, it was the Mons tour shirt. He said something about my shirt right away. How like, um, no effect, like how no effects sucked or whatever, how like, um, you know, anybody that wear uh, posers or no effects, it was some stupid shit like that. Were and, they um, friends with, with no effect? I, I thought so, but that's, he, I don't know if he was like drunk or, or whatever, but he like singled me out and like pointed and was like, Hey, you know, fuck no effects. Fuck guys. You know, I, I just see that you're wearing it now. So it's funny too. Um, but he like singled me out for wearing the shirt. And, um, I, he, eventually we start just talking, like just bullshitting, you know, cause I, I didn't really care what he had to say. Like, I was like, Hey, it's Mark from gutter mouth. Um, and they started uh, asking me, like, questions about politics. And um, I don't remember. I honestly, like, I, it's very foggy. But he started, like, coaching me up on politics, things, like, that he believed. And um, I was just like, Mark, like, none of what you're saying really is making sense. And because I, I do think he was had like a pretty big load on and he just kept like, no, you need to listen, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, dude, you have I've listened to your song like Party of Two. Like I, you're not a political guy. Like I'm not going to listen to you about this stuff. And like he was like taken aback by like what I said. And he just kept talking at me. And I was like, and I just said like, dude, like I'm done. Like just like leave me alone. I, I'm cranky. I'm hungry. I'm tired. Like. I don't want to talk politics with Mark from Guttermouth when it's 95 degrees. Like I am ready to go home. And uh, like, that was it. Like I was just done. And he was just following me around, like nagging me about something. Uh, but yeah, Lewis was watching the whole time, just like cracking up. Cause I, I just like wanted to get away from him. 
were, were you like initially like excited that he was there? Yeah. Then? Oh yeah. Oh, man. I, I like brush. I brushed it off. Like I was like, oh, he's like insulting me, but it's Mark from Guttermouth. Like whatever. Like that's his. That's his whole shtick. And I love Guttermouth. And um, so I was like, I was like gonna ask for an autograph or whatever. That was the plan. But yeah, it was just a, a dick. And <laughs> like I didn't even want it up to that point. Has it changed your opinion on their music now? No. Uh, no, like I, honestly, like I'm very good at like separating the music or the art from the artist. Like I don't expect Mark from Guttermouth to be a nice guy, right? It kind of like would ruin those early a- a- albums for me if he's actually like this nice dude and he's talking like uh, lipstick and Lucky the Donkey. You know what I mean? So like I, that's kind of like how I always viewed him. But like you don't want it in your face, right? Yeah. 